The next thing for me is repotting those spikes. I'm going to start with them on the outside and I'm going to just kind of fit in some of the coleus around where I can. Okay, I've got some fresh compost that I dug up here uh, in this bucket here. I'm gonna mix it in here. So I just gotta, some of this is some pretty tough old potting soil. So I want to make sure that I get it all kind of broken up. Uh, there's a little bit of root stuff left from what was in there before the snake plants. Don't worry, the snake plants just got transferred into another bucket. I have a whole nother one of these inside. I have about several snake plants. If you haven't seen that video on the snake plants, uh, on how to propagate new snake plants and how they propagate each other, definitely check that out. All right, so as you can see here, I've got uh, of a fork and my hoary hoary knife. Another great video on uh, one of the best tools in the garden. I use this thing just about on a daily basis. I could have done actually all of the stuff today with just this if I needed to. Uh, it's also got measurements on it for uh, if you're planting bulbs, it's got measurements up to six inches deep on there. So easy way to tell if you're planting your bulbs for your perennials at the right distance per the package. So, all right. So we still definitely got some clumps in there. I'm sure you can see. Uh, that's okay. Once I get it all watered in, that'll they'll start to break up. I don't mind the clumps that much. That's not one of my overall concerns, especially since I am mixing it with all of this fresh compost. So what I want to do here is just kind of shake a little in at a time. I'm not trying to just fill up the top. I wanted to break up the other stuff first, and then I'm kind of tilling it in. Leaf. So just kind of tilling it in, mixing it all up. That's why I'm using this in particular. I'm trying to dig the bottom, mix up the actual soil that was already in there. So I'm just giving it an overall refresh. Now you can do this with a potting mix. Like if you bought a bag of potting soil or something, it's the same concept. We all know as a gardener that uh, compost goes the furthest. Cat here, lovely. You can tell the cat's been digging in here. So you can definitely, as I mentioned, do this with a nice fresh potting mix, you know, that organic potting mix or something, but compost goes the furthest and that's why I'm using compost. And on top of that, it's free. You make it out of your scraps and you've got free soil. There's really nothing better than that. So, Got it just about to the level that I want it. I don't want to go all the way to the top with it. I want to have room, A, for the roots and everything to displace some of the soil, but B, uh, so you can see I'm about just where the actual lip starts there. Um, the other reason that I'm doing that is also because when I'm watering it, I don't want the soil to overflow, right? You want to keep yourself enough room in your pot. If you filled your pot to the top, you've probably filled it too full. So. That being said, I've got my hoary hoary, so now we can start actually digging out our plants. As I said, I want to start with the spikes. I'm thinking I'm going to position these on the outside here. So you really just got to kind of figure out how you want to do your planting. I'm trying to get some of the uh, wildlife out of here. As much as I love stuff breaking down my compost, my wife doesn't love it in the house. So we've got a good fresh mix there. Normally what I would do is water this in real good before planting stuff. We did have some rain this week, so I don't want to over saturate or drown these plants in particular.
Okay, so there we have it. I've got all three varieties planted in there. You can see we've got those spikes in this planter. We've got that coleus and that other variety of coleus. So looking really good. I'm gonna give this a good watering and in and call it a night. Thank you.